What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video of some Pokemon TCG Hidden Fates. Today we have three boxes from the GX collection and uh, yeah, we have Gyarados here, Raichu, and Charizard box. These are all way too big for the screen so I'm just going to have them off screen and then open them up one by one. But yeah, let's uh, I guess start with the Raichu. Let's do Raichu actually. So this set has been out for almost two years. Um, there have been some uh, reprints due to high demand from all around the world and Pokemon companies just trying to keep up basically. So uh, these go, for, if you can find them in the wild still, um, I got pretty lucky. These are like 20 bucks each. And we have four packs. They're the exact same, I guess, uh, size as the tins, if you're familiar with those, except they have uh, uh, the jumbo card here. There goes the promo card. Man, this is all over the place. All right, here's the right shoe. And here are the four packs for promo for you guys. Well, yeah, there's been more uh, reprints of Hidden Fates, and it's been really hard to find Shining Fates, actually. So I'm still waiting on my order through GameStop since December, and it still has not come in. So I don't know how much longer um, we're going to have to wait for that, but I think it's right around the corner. should be right any time. I called the, the local GameStop, and they kept telling me that it's just delayed from the distributors and hopefully it'll be there soon all right card trick here if i remember correctly it's four cards yeah all right first pack fairy energy if you guys are wondering about the these uh pokeballs in the background uh, someone made these for the channel and i thought it would be pretty cool to put them up because why not you know i uh, can't find them in the wild though they are custom made balls. Of course, as you guys all know, we're hunting for the Charizard, shiny Charizard GX from this. And Psychic Energy, Reverse Hollow, always cool to get these uh, Reverse Hollow Energies. And Vaporeon. All right, that's pack number one. I'm curious to see what the full Chilling Rain, that's the new series is gonna be released in June. Curious to see what the full uh, card list is, is gonna look like, but the Legendary Birds have their new like uh, type or variation. So that, that looks pretty interesting. All right, Jinx with the kisses. Paris, Psyduck, Circuitry, First Shiny, I'll put that in the back, and Erica's Hospitality, how nice. First Shiny Vault card, I'm going to move these two. Yeah, like I was saying, Shining Fates is really, really hard to get. Uh, I did get those um, Elite Trainer boxes from GameStop that I opened and actually pulled the Charizard. Link in the description down below for that if you guys are curious to see. But other than that, it was just like two Elite Trainer boxes and a uh, premium collection box that I'm waiting on. So Crobat and Dragapult. But yeah, any day now, probably mid-April or late April, but we'll see. GameStop says that they'll call you, but I, I don't know. I don't know if we can really rely on that. Probably have to keep calling and check back with them. Reverse Hollow Fairy and Big Scary Cobra. Last pack from the Raichu box. So 
Sabrina, Charmeleon, Misty again. All right, reverse of Voltorb and Golem. So nothing too big from this box. Just that shiny card over there. I'm trying to go through these a little bit faster than usual, just because I don't want to make this video take longer than it should. These boxes are really hard to open. And there's four packs in each. So, all right. There goes that. I'm trying to figure out where to put all these. All right. Second box is Gyarados. If you guys have any uh, links or videos to your own Shiny Charizard GX pull, I would love to see it. This is the card I'm looking for. All right, two Charizards, two Mewtwo's. Start with this guy. There you go. Dark energy to start us off. Reverse hollow Pokemon Center and Brock Hollow. First gym trainer from first Pokemon game ever. Good memories of that. Yeah, I'm trying to get more um, Pokemon products, especially new products, because everyone's probably seen a lot of these like older series. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just really hard to find some out in the wild, and it might have to be resell unless I get lucky again. But we shall see. Got a lot of hollow energies from these boxes. Blaine's last stand. All right. Let's keep Charizard for last. Yeah, I always used to think these were resealed. It made me feel some type of way sometimes, but now that we know what it is, it's just the way they seal the pack sometimes. All right, starting off with fire energy. Metapod, Sabrina. I think, I think there's something. Not too sure. And no, it's probably just a shine of that in the back. Man, I was hoping this was gonna be a little bit more spicy. Maybe the Charizard box is uh, packed with some magic. But you guys would get a better idea of how realistic the pulls are from these packs. I personally used to hear how Hidden Fates was just like super packed with amazing like hits from everything. And I mean, it wouldn't really make sense to focus on this uh, series at more hits than usual than others. But got a shiny Gabite. And our last one is just a regular electrode. So it seems like shiny vault cards are what is coming out of these boxes. No ultra rare sighted, other than the promo, of course. But here we go, last box. Let's see some Charizard magic, hopefully. Oh, this thing is falling apart. So as soon as that Shining Fates pre-order hits from GameStop, probably gonna do a video the same day, pick it up, put it on the channel. Already made a Battle Styles video, and you guys know how I feel about that. I'm not, not a huge fan of uh, Battle Styles. 
just seems like a, a more player based, like a TCG player based set. All right, let's start with this guy. I think when they don't add a Charizard to a set, a lot of the hype dies. I mean, you feel like Charizard's carrying TCG on his back on his own, especially since the whole like boom last summer. All right. Got a lot of trainer cards in that one. Caterpie, Paris, Charmander. We got our first Ultra, Buzz Swole, or Buzz Wool. I mean, he, he's pretty swole. That's probably why they named him. They like to combine a lot of different things with like animal names sometimes. I think that's how they do the naming convention, but yeah, Lapras on that one. So that one was in the shiny slot, so it still technically means we can get another ultra, but three shinies from three boxes. Sounds good to me so far. Another shiny. All right, Charizard box is uh, winning by huge margin. Got a hollow EV right there. So that's pretty cool. Still have two more packs to go. Best for last. Psychic Energy, Cerulean Gym, Charmeleon, Oop, almost skipped that one, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Kangaskhan, this one looks pretty cool, and Plain Stand again unfortunately, last pack, really really need something from this, aka need a Charizard. I don't know if I'm that lucky. I already pulled a shiny VMAX Charizard. So I don't know how much more lucky than that you can get. All right, Misty, Scyther, Jinx, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Reverse Star You and got Jesse James Hollow. So we did get an Ultra, but one Ultra from three boxes. I think I'm used to <laughs> I've been used to more than that. Maybe this one was like a not so lucky one, but we did get every single every single one of these is, is a shiny. So four shiny vaults from three boxes. That's pretty good. I think these still have a lot of value in them. So yeah, hoping to upload a video of the premium box collection from Shining Fates, either Crobat or Dragapult, or maybe maybe both. Why not both? I'll probably do both, yeah. But yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Stick around for more videos. I'm gonna try to add some like more Pokemon products to this. And uh, as always, see you in the next one.